Gail Redden, and I am so excited to show you some uh, amazing uh, books tonight that, uh, that I got recently. The first one I thought I would show you is a uh, wipe clean book. This particular wipe clean book is called Doodles, but they have wipe clean books for uh, letters, for numbers, even for telling time. I just think this is brilliant. I'm so excited about this. I have a three-year-old and an almost two-year-old, and they just love this book. You use a dry erase marker, and on the inside, it's all laminated. So you can uh, basically uh, fill in color, whatever you want to do, um, draw windows and doors on houses, do the suggested activities, and at the end of the day, you get to wipe it all clean. Hooray! And use it again and again. No more throwing out those coloring books that get used up. This is just genius. I want to give a hug to whoever invented this book. And, I mean, who doesn't like cupcakes and sweets? You know, their kids can draw sprinkles on there or um, whatever they want to do with that. Uh, we had a 10-hour train ride recently, and these books came in so handy. So much fun. I had uh, another kid come up wanting to do it too. It was just, it was just a blast. Um, lots of fun ideas. They can just doodle or they can do what, what it says they can do. Fill the winter sky with falling snow. Add some more snow, snowy trees. Um, doodle more snowmen and so forth. All kinds of stuff for this awesome wipe clean activities book. Oh, I love this. You are going to want to get this for your kids. Um, I just think it's so much fun and even more fun as they get older. So, on that note, I cannot say enough about 100 things for little children to do on a trip. We bought this along on our train ride as well, and it's wonderful. These are laminated flashcards. You can use a dry erase marker on them as well. Some people punch holes in them and put them on a ring, which I think is also just a super idea. You can do a word search. There's word searches on there. Or you can, uh, there's this one I just love. Find the two kitty cats that are identical. Now I'm an identical twin, so I love, uh, this, this is just so fun, so clever. Uh, some of these things are even quite fun for adults to try and figure out. And there's mazes. You can take a marker and, and try to figure out which kite string goes with which child, and so on. There's just all kinds of, of different options for, for this whole pack of activity cards. Just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so those are for toddlers, elementary kids, um, even for yourself, if that sounds like fun. I had some fun with it too. So this book here is, uh, is something I wanted to introduce for maybe the older kid, um, the kids who love to explore, who love to find out more information about something. Maybe you have kids that are going to school and they are learning about history or exploration and, and you just wish that, they, that this could come alive for them in a way that would maybe be more interactive or that sort of thing. Well, this book um, is that book for your kid. Uh, here's an example page, Natural Discoveries. You know, they can lift up the flaps and interact with it and it tells them more of what's going on with that natural discovery, for example. Um, German explorer Alexander Van Humboldt teamed up with botanical Armid Bonplan to explore the jungle and mountains of South America, and it just talks about that, and then it gives more details on the inside. But there's, uh, this is my personal favorite one, Scottish explorer and missionary David Livingstone set off to Africa in 1840 with the aim of spreading Christianity to people there, and it shows his missionary, tr missionary journey trips there, just so cool. And then it shows, oh, he went missing. What happened? Well, somebody went hunting him down to try to find him, and guess what? They did after a year's time. So it just has cool stuff in here. Um, Race for the Poles. This is Captain Robert Falcon Scott, who took an expedition to go find the South Pole. The expedition failed, and it gives a lot of details about that, but they discovered um, Scott's diary, and look, they have a little flap with diary on it, and excerpts from his diary under that flap. I just think this is wonderful. It makes a uh, history come alive for your kids. So again, this book is called um, Exploration and Discovery, the Sea Inside Exploration and Discovery with over 70 flaps. It also has um, 
a link to, to a, a website through Osborne with more details and things like that. So that's that book there. Okay, back to um, something that my girls really like. It's called Muddle and Match. This is really just darling. I love tongue twisters and catchy phrases. I think that's awesome. Marvin, the mighty monkey, moves forward towards the mark on the map to meet the mysterious magical meerkat. And so you see the monkey here. Well, then you've got to turn the flaps to find the right creature that comes next. Ah, and notice this has all peas in it. Patrick, the playful parrot, pretends to be a powerful pirate paddling the precarious Pacific. And it goes on and on with all kinds of different muddle and matches and finding the right creature with the right page and it's color-coded. Um, just really fun, hands-on book for kids. I just, I just find this super fun and exciting for my girls and um, something that you don't necessarily find easily elsewhere. So with that being said, let's move on to, to uh, 100 Paper Planes to Fold and Fly. Some of you out there have, uh, have young ones or older ones or husbands or boyfriends or who love paper airplanes. It can be a whole ton of fun. They have instructions on the inside if you would like to use your own paper. Instructions for four to five different types of planes that you can build. And then every single page is a beautiful designed type of dart plane or jet or even a bug and instructions on how to fold all of these to create wonderful uh, flying endeavors. And there's also suggested game ideas in the back for doing that as a fun thing to do. So 100 paper planes fold and fly. And there's other ones out there too. And let's quickly go to our um, Castles book. If you have a little one or an older one who enjoys learning about things like castles. Oh, this book is so fun. It tells you about the times of castles. It tells you about the people that lived in the castles. It shares about building a castle. It shows all the steps involved with building a castle. It shows about what happens inside a castle. I think this is so neat. Um, and uh, what a great gift for a little one, maybe along with um, the new uh, castle um, I can't think of the exact name, but you can, it's, it's the, the castle that you can actually build. It's a kit that we are now selling, which is just amazing. I'll try to post a link to that. But um, they also have a feast. You know what? What is all involved with feasting in a castle? So all kinds of things, all the way to what happens when a castle comes under attack. Oh no! So it just, uh, it's just really fun. If your kids have... Um, certain things that are just, they just really love. I won't uh, go through all of these, but we have horses and ponies. Um, if your kids like that, we have um, touchy-feely books, which are a lot of fun for, for little kids. Um, you know, um, almost like three-dimensional where you can really touch things and, and feel them and scratch them, that sort of thing. Uh, my kids just really love, love all the colors in here too. So, so very nice. And last but not least, let's uh, let's highlight um, let's highlight uh, uh, Secrets of the Seashore, and we've already kind of gone with that one, but it's our flashlight series. We don't want to forget that. Oh my, it's so much fun! I mean, you get to operate a flashlight and try to discover hidden treasures behind the pages. It's very exciting. So those are some of the some of the books that we have out there. I hope that, um, that you enjoyed that, and wow, have fun with your kids, and what a great way to do that. I'll see you later.